Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. While studying science, we have come across several terms like pressure, density, etc. We all know what they mean and how we can obtain their values. Pressure is determined from force and area, while the density is determined from volume and mass. Today, we will discuss how these properties are categorized into two types. First of all, we must know the actual definition of a property. A property of a system can be defined as a characteristic of the system which solely depends upon its state. It must be noted that it doesn't depend upon how the state is achieved. Properties are divided into two categories. These are intensive properties and extensive properties. Let's talk about them with examples. We all have refrigerators at home, right? The purpose of the refrigerator is to keep our food and water cool. No matter how much quantity of food we keep inside the refrigerator, the temperature always stays the same. This is because temperature is an intensive property. Intensive properties are those properties which are independent of mass or the quantity of matter in the system. Some more examples of intensive properties are density, color, pressure, melting and boiling points, etc. These properties do not change if the quantity of the matter is changed. The density of water is always the same, whether we have 1 liter of water or 1000 liters of water. Now, let's move on to extensive properties. Let's consider a flask with a capacity of 2 liters. When we fill the flask, the volume of the water inside the flask changes. Similarly, the volume changes when the flask is emptied. This is because volume is an extensive property. Extensive properties are those properties which depend on the mass or quantity of matter in the system. Examples of extensive properties are volume, mass, energy, weight, etc. The energy and weight of the system varies when the mass or quantity of matter inside the system is varied. Now, we need to discuss one important point here. Are you wondering why density and pressure are intensive? Well, the reason for this is very simple. As we know, pressure is the force per unit area. Here, both force and area are extensive properties. Similarly, the density is determined from volume and mass, both of which are extensive properties. When an extensive property is divided by another extensive property, the result will always be an intensive property. This is why pressure and density are intensive properties. Now, it is time to conclude this session. Today, we talked about the difference between intensive and extensive properties. It must be noted that while the ratio of two extensive properties is an intensive property, the ratio of two intensive properties is always intensive. If you guys enjoyed our content, don't forget to like this video. For staying updated with our new content, press subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell button. This is Skill Link, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.